Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B. Just quickly going to go through some of the new settings, for the latest update for the KS and MU series of TVs. So if we look at picture, I've got a movie, picture size 16 by 9, those are all as and normal as they are. Backlight have changed down a bit because I found that once again the panel is seems to me to my eyes to be a bit brighter so I put it down to 12. I've also put the brightness just down a notch to 40. Contrast remains the same at 100. Also notched down the bright the sharpness a bit because there seems to be improvements for me in terms of brightness in term, um, and um, sharpness seem to be a bit too I don't know, a bit too much. So as a result of that, I've turned that down. Also, I noticed that some of the greens, and I've changed um, uh, the, the green and red tint a little as well, but on the color, I've notched that down. I may put that up and down a little bit. I need to play with that perhaps a little bit more, but around there is fine for me. And also with the tint, I've moved that to 49 and then 50, um, and 51. Um, I just found things were just a little bit too green once again. So um, I, I've, I've changed that a little bit. Um, it's all on, on all sources, digital clean view we have on off. Analog clean view we also have set on off. That's not an option. We just have to have that off. Um, we've got auto motion plus. That's as it was, as we had it previously. Um, I just have it on, but everything down to zero and zero and off. All that does it just stops um it doesn't it's not too aggressive just the fact that it's on and there adds just a hint of um the the auto motion sort of um, aspect and stops any sort of slight judder that comes in smart led i have on high um i i found that if you have it on low or, or off certainly it tends to make the led or the picture a bit washy so the smart LED sort of heightens the brightness in, in areas where it should be bright rather than sort of flooding an area and tending to wash out some of the color. Um, film mode auto too, that's automatically selected. UHD color on all sources, HDMI black level on normal. Dynamic contrast we have on high. And I know this tends to crush um, shadows, the blacks in shadows a little bit but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to make the picture um, just appear uh, brighter in the areas. Again, this works well with the smart LED aspect. It just works well in terms of um, how it's managing the smart LED and the dynamic and the contrast of the, of the, of the image too. So with those off, I find it tends to get a bit washy and we get a lot of halo effect and so on, but the smart LED and the dynamic contrast together, both on high, tends to stop a lot of that. And you get a more, um, say if there's a, a, a bright element surrounded by um, sort of normal lighting, it tends to concentrate that on it, on that bright element rather than um, it sort of flooding out that, that that image, if that makes sense to you guys. Hopefully it does. It does to me. <laughs> so that's where we are. So um, if we go all the way to the bottom, um, color tone I set at warm two. If that's too yellow for you, you can always set that to warm one or, or any of the others really. But warm two is, is close to sort of the industry standard for, for color tone. And then gamma we've got at zero. RGB only mode is for obviously when we're doing the, the, the calibration and so on, and color space to auto. So those are the settings I found work pretty well. You can fiddle with these um, and see what works best for you. I hope this is of use. Don't forget to su subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell. And um, I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.